Aliyah, welcome to your past life reading for singles. Okay. Now, this is a um, special retrograde forecast. Let's take a look. What are the things that you need to learn from the past? Your karmic ties. Who's your soulmate? When will you be meeting them? And what are the lessons that you need to learn from it and apply it at present? Let's take a look. Wisdom. Oh, you made a promise to someone. You um, you came from a very poor family. You left. Look for your own destiny, or trying to fulfill your own destiny. Always looking for a father figure, or having some problems with your father, or having some issues with your father, or with the father of your child. You know, Leo, you're very, um, in your past life, okay? Now, please take note that this is only a general reading, so, um, it might resonate with you, it might not resonate with you, alright? Now, you were gifted with, so, with much more of a wisdom and knowledge, and this is how you w actually survive. And you made a promise to somebody in the past. Now, I feel feel like it's more of a chain that somebody abandoned you and you have also abandoned your you know your child or your children for them to be saved and have the kind of life that you can give to them because you're you know you're well you lived in the uh, commonalities and uh, I feel like you had gone through a lot of uh, struggles now hmm well, I'm picking up the timing of this reading is around 1200s, okay? And there's also a part of 6, mm, something like that, 608, 605 BC. But anyway, let's take a look. Speaker, freedom. Okay, now, you know, because of the situation in your life before that you were born, you know, in a very poor family, or I feel like you have tried to survive on your own because you were once an orphan, okay? One is that you, um, you don't even know where you came from, who are your family, and there's a part of you that feels so voided or empty, like uh, something is missing that even though right now okay let's say for example right now in your current family or when you were a child you feel like you don't really belong in that family or you feel like somewhere somehow you belong to a certain place or do you belong to a particular race or something like that and you've always wondered like where is that you know like where am i supposed to be because sometimes you're, when you were a child, you feel like an alien or you feel alienated even into your own family, even though you're not adopted, okay? Now, you made a promise to your children and to your child because you've, uh, you've been with somebody, but then they have left you, okay? Because they can't really uh, take the, the life that you can give them or you can, y they can't really live the life that you, that you both have. Okay, so what you did is that you have also abandoned or left your child in the care of others so that they can, you know, give the life that you can give to them. Okay, it's more likely that you have already abandoned your own children or your own child. All right, and I feel like during this lifetime you were you were a guy, okay, because you have some father issues or you have some issues about being a father i also feel like you feel so you know um it's like to yourself you feel so inadequate to give someone else's you know life or faith and you f you're so afraid of being with somebody or having a family because there's a part of you that what if like this what if like that what if you know um the one that i'm going to be with will run away from me because they can't really stay 
with me because of the life that I cannot give to them. Okay, there you have that fear. So you've made a promise to your child, okay, that you will go back, but you never did. Because I feel like you have ended up with someone else that is uh, far from you. And you did not really told this person that you married, I feel like somewhere off the coast of Europe, that you've had a child that you have left behind. Okay, you were also accused of something, whereas people have been like, you know, like because you have abandoned your child, the people uh, back into that time, they uh, they have that kind of mentality that what kind of parent are you? Or what kind of person are you to abandon your child? And then you're just going to take off or run away or something like that. So <clears throat> the reason why you left that place is because you want to start anew. You want to find your own faith. You want to find your own life. That, you know, at first, you just want to have a better life. And so that you will come back, you know, take your child with you so that you can give them the life that they deserve. But unfortunately, the things have changed. Okay. You met somebody that is, let's say, somebody who came from a good family, a well-off. And the family liked you because you've worked so hard. And then you have portrayed a personality that you feel like it should be you. Okay. So let's say that you have uh, where you, you've worn a mask in the past and they, there's people like you and then uh, somebody have fallen in love with you and you married to them. And this person is your real soulmate. Okay, let's pull out the... Uh, okay, the three clarification cards. Still, another war, lessons and blessings and authority figures. Uh, this person, I feel like, is um, either the daughter or uh, the child of somebody who is more of an authority figure or the judge, okay? Or the jury, no, sorry, judge or somebody who's of the, um, um, in the position of legal or justice or something like that. And this is the one that you're, that is your real soulmate. But unfortunately, when they found out the truth, you got separated there were some, you know, hurly burlies, and there were some, you know, chasings here and there. You've tried to explain your part. Uh, she hated you for it. And then, you know, um, you've tried to patch things up and try to rectify the, the situation until that you went back into that, you know, until that you went back into that uh, place that you once left your child before. But when you get back there, it's already too late, okay, because your child has already died of pneumonia. So, and before, you know, pneumonia doesn't have any uh, cure at that time. It's uh, like an unknown disease for them. So, when you got separated, you've, um, you know, you were also heartbroken. Because when you get back to that place, it's like you don't want to remember that part of your past or that part of yourself or part of your memories and it really hurted you and haunted you until that you have gone out of your way you know because you're you're um this one you're um the one that you really love have left you over a situation that is already out of your control and your and your um con uh power okay or control but you got back together Okay, because you really deserve that, although it took some long years, and you got married again. Now, now, the lesson for you here is don't make any promises that you can keep. And if ever that you want to, sorry, and if ever that you need to go back or you need to, um, let's say, for example, just go and search for your own self and search for your own life or path, go back to that person that you will be making a promise to so that there won't be any karmic um debt that will be hanging above your head okay now and don't go back and forth okay not because that there are some difficult things that you're going through you just need to keep on charging up ahead don't go back and forth out of your fear and if ever that you're already in a committed relationship Give your full self to it. Give your 90% or your 80%. Well, not really 100%. You have to still retain something for yourself. Okay? Instead of going back and forth and acting out on your fears and traumas. That's not healthy. All right? Now, what are you supposed to be right now? You have the gift of oration. You can be a speaker, a leader of a congregation, community, membership, or organization. And you have the freedom to choose. You also have talents in music and arts 
you have the power to have the unlimited abundance and unlimited um, um, prosperity okay and still you need to build yourself up to you know to reach the top all right and i feel like with your proper knowledge with your gift of wisdom you will be able to create your own platform and you'll be able to create your own uh fortress okay and you're a very creative person practice your own skills and you love being out in the environment or the environment or the earth related field industry jobs positions professions will also be calling out for your attention and options are already right in front of you or you also um you, you can also be a part of the you know the justice system or a legal system banks finance government military law enforcement and stuff like that all right so anyway that's it for you for this month and for this retrograde leo if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you